Mr. Brown? Ah, uh, hello, Miss Courtney. Why are you creeping about? Well, I didn't want to disturb you. Very considerate. And perhaps you wouldn't mind creeping into the office for a moment. I want a word with you. <laughs> you may sit. Uh. <laughs> now, Mr. Brown, the other evening after everyone had gone, I went into the gentleman's toilet. Oh, I'm sure that was a perfectly natural mistake. <laughs> I went because the caretaker had complained about the graffiti on the walls. And Mr. Brown, it is just not good enough. Oh, I don't know. I thought some of it was rather witty. <laughs> it was disgusting. Someone had written Enoch Powell rules OK. Yes, well, with all due respect, I'd hardly call that disgusting. It was what was written underneath that I found most objectionable. Oh, what was that? Miss Courtney is crackers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it may not have been one of my students who was responsible. It certainly was. How can I be so sure? Who else but a foreigner would spell crackers, K-R-A-double-K-E-R-S? <laughs> well, I'll see it doesn't happen again. There's just one more thing, Mr. Brown. Yes, Miss Courtney? In a few weeks' time, your students will be sitting for their lower Cambridge certificate. Yes, and we're all looking forward to it. I'm sure we're all going to pass with flying colours. And you have more faith in them than I have. <laughs> now, here is a set of last year's examination papers. I suggest this evening that you set them a mock exam and see how good or otherwise they are. Closer. It's all right. <laughs> Very good. Don't forget to be getting my turban in. <laughs> Smile, please. <laughs> now, who want picture? Yes, please. One for my brother. Two for me. <laughs> ah, so. <laughs> One for me, please. Me too. You two of oh, oh. our. Two. One, two. One. One, two for me, please. That is, I am meaning one, two as well. <laughs> Not one, two. One. Uh, I'd like also to be having one for me. And one for my mother, one for my father, one for my brother, one for my sister, one for my uncle, and one for my auntie. And one for his donkey. <laughs> Stickies and stonies may break my bonies, but the names will never be hurting me, you clever monkey. Seven Correcto. Your book, Daniel. Thank you, Max. It's all right. Your handbag. Just a minute. Hey, next time you carry the handbag, huh? No, I think it suits you more. <laughs> hey, give me a kiss. <laughs> Your handbag. Thank you, Giovanni. You just missed it. We are having our photographs taken by Taro. Taro, I would very much like you to take a photograph of me. Hey, I take your picture. You have not the camera. Sure, I've got the camera at home. You come back with me after the class and we take lots of pictures. And then we can see what develops. Hey, what do you say? I say no. <laughs> you want a picture in classroom? Yes. How about here? Mm. Bellissima, oh. huh? Morpho. Magnifica. Hey, higher. Excuse, please. No more higher. You are giving me naughty thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but I'm liking them very much. <laughs> now I take you. Ready? Ready. Madre mia. No good. No good? You must be joking. She's beautiful. Too close. Can get in, no. Top half. Or bottom. But you are not taking her bottom. <laughs> Just take the head and the shoulders. Yeah, you can take one of the legs for me after. <laughs> okay. Very good. Ready? Ready. Look at the camera. What's going on here? Oh, I'm having my photograph taken. Really? Very nice. <laughs> can you do me a big favor? What sort of favor? I would like to have a photograph taken with you. Yes, I don't think we've really got time for that sort of thing. Oh, please, it's for my mother and father. I've told them all about you, and they would love to have a photo. Yes, well, all right. Oh, come on, Mr. Brown. 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 Come on, Mr. Brown.
sure this is for your parents? Of course. Mm. Ready? <laughs> Look at the Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> we were having our photograph taken. I was not aware that photography was included in the curriculum. Uh, yes, well, would you all sit down, please? And, uh, Danielle, would you stand up? <laughs> but what about our photo? Yeah, well, we'll see about that later, all right? Go sit down. It was for her parents. I... just came to bring you the answers to last year's examination papers. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> I hope I didn't get you into trouble. I'll survive. Right, now, before we do anything else, I want all the male students to write down the word crackers on a piece of paper. Crackers? Yes, I want to find out how you spell it. You don't know how to spell it? <laughs> yes, I do, but I want to see if you do. OK. <laughs> ah, so it was you. Please, you wrote this on the wall of the gent's toilet? Squish, please. I'm not writing anything on the wall of the toilet. <laughs> right, and how do you account for the fact that you spelt crackers, K-R-A-K-K-E-R-S, whereas you looked at everybody else's paper, you will discover that they have spelt it. Well, at least you're all consistent. <laughs> right, in future, please, no more writing on walls. Now, pay attention. In a few weeks' time, you will all be sitting for your examinations. That is good. Much better to be sitting for examination than standing. <laughs> I'll rephrase that. In a few weeks' time, you will all be taking your lower Cambridge certificate. And to find out how you're progressing, we are going to have a mock exam. That is to say, an imaginary one. Right, during the second half of the lesson, I want to see how many you can answer to find out your strengths and weaknesses. You can study the questions during the tea break. I would rather be studying the answers. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you would. Right now, firstly, have you all done your homework? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, we'll see how well you've done. Juan. Por favor. Yeah. What answer did you give to question one? Explain what is wrong with the following sentence. The cows was in the field. Ah, momentito. <clears throat> the cows was not in the field. <laughs> No one, that is not the correct answer. The cows was in another field. The cows were in the field. I didn't see them. All right, now, Ranji, question two. Name the three classes of gender and give an example of each. Thousand apologies, but I answered that question with nothing. You mean you haven't answered the question? That is the gist of what I am saying. I am not comprehending the meaning of the word gender. Gender is the grammatical classification of the sex of proper nouns. But you are learning about English, not about sex. <laughs> you cannot learn sex from books, Ranjit. You ever have it or you don't have it. I have it. I know all about sex. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, so may I remind you that we're not here to discuss sex. Why not? It is a very interesting subject. Yes, I'm aware of that, but there's a time and a place for everything. You tell me the time and the place, and I shall be there. <laughs> right, please, can we get back to the matter of your homework, Ranjit? The word gender refers to whether or not a proper noun is masculine or feminine. Now I'm understanding. And what is the other? Other one. Gender. <laughs> there are three classes of gender. One is masculine, one is feminine, and the other is... Oh! <laughs> Newton. Thousand apologies. Right. Suli. Yes, Mr. Blanc. Question three. Give the feminine of the following. Lion. Rioness. Yes. Lioness. Rioness. No, l, l. R, r. No, you're not saying it right. Fairly solly. I know. <laughs> Try saying rioness. Lioness. Good. <laughs> yes. Well, in future, every time you see an L, pretend it's an R, right? Anna. Yeah. Feminine of Duke. Duke S. Duchess. Jamila. G. Now be careful. The feminine of monkey. Monkey S. No. No? No, the feminine of monkey is monkey. There is no difference between masculine and feminine. Squeeze, please. You are mistaken. <laughs> I'm seeing them in the zoo, and there is a very big difference. <laughs> I am referring to the word itself, not their physical appearance. Ali. Yes, please. Question four. Explain what is wrong with the following sentence. Waiter, I would like some chops of pork. Waiter, 
I would not like some chop support. <laughs> no, Ali, that's not right. Yes, please. It is against my religion to be eating pork. <laughs> the word pork is immaterial. How do you feel about lamb? Oh, blimey. I like lamb very much. Right. Well, let us suppose that the question read, Waiter, I would like some chops of lamb. What is wrong with that? I should be asking for minty sauce. <laughs> I should be asking for lamb chops, not chops of lamb. Jelly good. Thanks. <laughs> question five. Quite a hard one, this. Construct a sentence using the word indisposition. Sure. Every Saturday, I play football, and I am being the goalie keeper, because I like playing in this position. <laughs> Silence! Look, this is no laughing matter. If your present standard is anything to go by, you haven't a chance of passing your exams. Now, I suggest you all take an early tea break, study those questions, and let's hope that you show some signs of intelligence, otherwise we might as well stop wasting each other's time. <coughs> Professori is mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us? He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> There you are, dearie. Thank you. Tempe, thank you. Who's next? Me, please. Oh, tea or coffee? Hot water. <laughs> Hot water? Yes, please. I bring my own tea bag. <laughs> you can't do that. But I'm already doing it. I'm starting economy right. That, but that tea bag's already been used. Most Come definitely. On. I'm making three cups of tea out of one tea baggie. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you can't make your own tea. Oh, blimey. Then I'm not having any at all. Next. Who's next? Buenas noches, my little flower. <laughs> How beautiful you look tonight. Just like a Madonna. Are you talking to me? Si. No. No, what? No, whatever it is you're after. It's nothing. Huh? Well... Maybe just one little thing. Uh, you see, uh, I am... Uh, I am a little tall with the money. <laughs> uh, I pay for the coffee tomorrow, no? No. No money, no coffee. Ah. Ah, Ranji, you are my friend, mi amigo. You lend me ten pence. I'm only having ten p. It's all right. <laughs> Senora... Gracias. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, you are taking my last ten p. You, my very good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, please. Uh, ten p. I'm not having any money. You're not having any coffee. <laughs> Can you be lending me ten p? Yes. Okay. Thousand thank yous. But I'm making one condition. What is that? I want to hear you say, all Muslims are nice, kind, and most wonderful persons. If I am saying that, you will be lending me 10p? If you are saying that, I will be giving you 10p. Very well. All Muslims are nice, kind, and wonderful persons. Jolly good. <laughs> There's only one thing. What, please? All Sikhs are very big liars. <laughs> because this is very important. What's the matter? It's about the test we have. Yeah, we got to do good. Otherwise, we're all in the minestrone. In the shoe. That's <laughs> right. Now, we have the plan. What plan? We pinch the answers. That is cheating. That's right. I do not cheat. Perhaps the exam is not too bad. Maybe we can answer the question OK. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too difficult. Let's have a look. Question one. Construct sentences using the following types of clauses. A verbal clause of time, 
Noun clause as object of preposition and main clause coordinate with first? Well, Anna? How we steal the answers. <laughs> Mr. Brown, your students have been at it again. Oh, it's not more graffiti. No, not this time. Read this. Young virile male student wishes to meet nice lady from cookery class for evenings of mutual pleasure. Apply Maximilian Papandrios. <laughs> Kindly inform Mr. Papandrios that the notice board is for official notices and not for procuring young women. Right. Well, I'm sure his intentions were quite innocent. Evenings of mutual pleasure? Yes, well, he probably only wanted her to whip up an omelette. <laughs> well, tell him to whip up his own omelettes. <laughs> right, I, I, I'll have a word with him. See that you do. Your coffee, Miss Courtney. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, by the way, Mr. Brown, how is the mock examination coming along? Oh, well, we haven't started it yet. We're going to get cracking just as soon as we've finished our tea break. Well, I do hope that the results will be good, otherwise I shall have to think about axing the course. Axing the course? You wouldn't do that, surely? I most certainly would. It would be a complete waste of time for them to carry on and sit for an examination they have no hope of passing. Thank you, Gladys. Well, that's it. I've Ooh. had it. Well, I didn't think your class was as bad as that. Oh, they are at the moment. Oh, I'm sure that when the time comes, they'll pull through with flying colours, but right at the moment, the only thing they like to get right on the test paper is their names, and even that's doubtful. Well, you'll have to help them with the answers. Well, I'll give them the answers. Yeah, and not exactly give them to them. Just leave them lying around where they can see them. That is cheating. No, not exactly. It's not as though it's a real exam. I mean, you said yourself they come out with flying colours. Ah, it's a pity if the course has to be cancelled. All because of failing a mock exam. But you know best. It's <laughs> much too obvious. We steal the answers. I know. First, we hit him on head. <laughs> That's, That's no good. We make too much mess. We've got to get him out of the class. How we do that? I don't know. Hey, let's all think. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Yeah, well, just a minute, Max. I want to work with you. Eh? Yeah, I believe that this, uh, this notice is yours. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that Miss Courtney will not allow you to have that on the notice board. OK. As a point of interest, did anybody from the cookery class respond? Sure. She was beautiful. We had a fantastic time. Never before I had a such a time. Really? What does she cook for you? Cook? We had a takeaway. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, we got to spend two p. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny, I spend a penny. <laughs> you won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. Only, you see, I've just uh, left the answers on my desk and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> That would be cheating, Mr. Brown, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, N nearly finish. All right. You look in, Mr. Brown. Is Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. OK, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam? Sure, all ready. Good. Ah, oh, Miss Courtney, did you want me? No. I just thought that I would supervise the class during their mock examination. Yes, well, there's no need to do that. I'm quite capable of doing it myself. Mr. Brown, when the students take their real exam, you will not be allowed to stay in the classroom, never mind supervise. It's a precaution against any attempt to cheat. Cheat? Yes. 
It has been known in the past for an over-enthusiastic teacher to provide his students with the answers. Really? How contemptible. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, you have exactly one hour to complete this paper, starting from now. Uh, excuse me, please, Miss Gordon. Yes? Can I spend the penny, please? All right, but hurry. You don't need to take your exercise book with you, do you? Just maybe I think of an answer, so I write it down. <laughs> Well, come along, Mr. Nadim. Yes, please. Where do you go along to? <laughs> we are not going along to anywhere. I just want you to get started on the answers. I'll do my best. Excuse me, please. Yes. Toilet, please. Very well. <laughs> but don't be long. Oh, oh. Ah, here are the answers. I put them in my book already. Good. I put them in my book. Hey, look, I gotta tell Ali, Ranjit, one and Daryl, then the girls. Okay. Hey. We pretty smart, eh? Sure. We have no trouble with this exam. <laughs> I'll be very quick. Would you like to go to the toilet, Mr. Brown? <laughs> No, no, not at all. Everyone else has been. Yes, well, it's probably the cold weather. <laughs> we have another five minutes, Miss Schmidt. I'm finished. Oh, good, then I'll take a book. Has anyone else finished? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Now collect up your books and I'll take them. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. Right there. Thank you. <clears throat> I shall take these home with me tonight and mark them personally. I do hope they've done reasonably well. So do I. Otherwise, it's the axe. Oh, blimey. <laughs> You're chopping his head off? <laughs> Only metaphorically. Oh, you have about two minutes, Miss Chung. Not necessarily. Finished. Thank you. <laughs> now, good night, everybody. Good night. I shall see you all tomorrow. Okay. Oh, just a minute, Miss Courtney. Won't you uh, need the answers? I shan't need them, Mr. Brown. However, I might as well take them. It might speed up the marking. Oh. Is something the matter? These are the wrong answers. <laughs> oh, these aren't the answers to last year's paper. They're the previous years. I must have picked them up by mistake. <laughs> oh, I suppose last year's answers must still be in my filing cabinet. <laughs> are you feeling all right, Mr. Brown? You look a little peaky. No, no, I'm fine. Never felt better. <laughs> Mr. Brown? Good evening, Miss Courtney. Mr. Brown, I marked your students' examination papers last night. Yes, well... Unbelievable. I can't explain. Everybody answered every question correctly. You see, what happened? <laughs> what did you say? Everybody answered every question correctly. Good Lord. I told you it was unbelievable. It was positively miraculous. See for yourself? <laughs> but these are the answers you gave me last night. That's correct. But you said they were the previous year's answers. Yes, but I discovered last night that I had also given you the previous year's questions. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Brown. Your students are a credit to you. <laughs> <laughs>